China's fall, like we just showed you, will bruise the whole world. China has lent billions to governments around the world. A lot of these loans were given in secret. We're calling them China's hidden loans. And they're burning a hole in the pockets of the borrowers. If China's economy collapses, these countries will all suffer. And that's just part of the problem. Hidden debt hurts all of these countries. Let me give you the example of Indonesia here. Indonesia wanted to build a railway line. So it borrowed money from China. It was a very bad idea. Indonesia is learning the hard way. It took something else that you should know about China. It's not Las Vegas. What happens in Beijing does not stay in Beijing. It spreads to our economy, to our savings, even our festival shopping. This wasn't the case a few decades back. Think back to the SARS epidemic of 2003. The global economy was not disrupted, not like this. So what changed in the last two decades? China's economy, that's what's changed. In 2003, China's share in global output was 8.5%. In 2019, it was 20%. That's more than twice. Same story with global exports. In 2003, China's share was 6.2%. Today, it's 14.7%, again, more than twice. What do these numbers tell you? The Chinese economy is more integrated with the world today. That's good news for Beijing, not so much for us. Any meltdown in China will have a ripple effect. You will see stock markets slide. Your holiday shopping could become more expensive. Your favorite gadgets may not be available. This is a problem that concerns all of us. But to what extent? That is the question. In 2008, we saw something similar in the U.S. Their housing bubble popped. Lehman Brothers, America's fourth largest investment bank, went bust. The whole world slipped into a recession. Could Evergrande and company end up the same way? If China's real estate sector crashes, will it drag the world down? There's every indication it will. But how far will it drag the world? That is difficult to say. Because with Lehman, we knew the risks, we knew about their liabilities, we knew where their money was tied up, we knew what the U.S. government was planning to do. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nifei. <laughs> 